everybody, it's me, Stefan, for another edition of Stefan Reads, his Line News app. Uh, so Line is, of course, the biggest messaging app in Japan. And I, uh, it apparently has a news tab now that I am now reading religiously for the sake of this particular video series, I guess. So here's your Line News for August 11th, 2022 at around 1.30 p.m. So... In case this is your first time listening, uh, I'm Stefan. I uh, am represented, represented, I can't talk, represented by Yoshimoto Kogyo, the biggest entertainment company in Japan, pretty much. But I am pretty much the least popular, the least uh, famous, the the least employed of all the foreign talent, talento in Japan. Uh, so, to occupy my free time, I'm reading the news. Let's take a look at my line news for today. So I'm not sure if this line news is catered to me personally via the great algorithm or whatever. Uh, but uh, in case you haven't listened before, the actual news factor is very, very... doesn't really factor into this at all. Alright, so let's look at the first story here. And boy, is it a banger. So... It is... Um, Nippon Telebi's announcer Ozaki Risa announcing that she's pregnant. So Ozaki Risa is an announcer for Nippon Telebi, which is probably the biggest. I don't know. It's I mean it's all four of like the of the non NHK stations are kind of at the, around similar levels, but NHK or Nippon Telebi I think is the biggest of those networks. Um, but she announced on her live TV show Baguette that she is announced that she's pregnant with her first child and it's going to be due in December. Um, so yeah, each of these TV networks has its own like stable of like announcers who are pretty much just like newscasters slash also like MCs and hosts for different TV shows. Uh, and she's probably if we're going like the S A B you know level she's probably like an a level announcer so she's pretty famous but she's not like top uh so like nippon Terebi's top announcer would probably be like Mito, um mito chan who's doing uh, zip um but yeah so she has she's announcing her first pregnancy she got married in 2019 to uh a normal human being uh so they always delineate if like they're if someone's like married to a celebrity they'll like say the celebrity but if it's like a normal human like a non celebrity they'll just say Ipan Jansen normal Ipan Jose Ipan Danse like a normal human being I don't know why they make that delineation but they do um, so yeah she got married to a college classmate and they're finally having a kid so best of luck to them uh, moving on to the next story and oh boy this is not exactly a uh, <laughs> great uh, so i think on tuesday we covered this story uh kind of covered this story but yuji who uh bought a new car took a picture in front of his cars with his daughters and posted it on instagram which is apparently a story according to line news i don't know why um so yeah he took a picture with his brand new cars he got a bentley if you remember and he also has a mercedes g-class so i how does he have this much money i apparently got into the wrong industry but uh, he he took a picture with two of his daughters um and uh, they posted it and talked about how his kids are getting bigger uh and uh he's got nice cars so and I don't know why they keep mentioning this. They mentioned this the last time we talked about Yuji. But in 2014, he married an Ipan Jose, and he has three kids. So, moving on, you know, if this is, like, your first time listening to the show, you don't know this. Um, they actually have, like, real he news headlines between two rows of complete and total, like, nonsense news stories that I think are catered via the algorithm which is not an indication of the actual news. But there's, like, actual news stories in between those, but they're just, like, small little text. Um, we'll get to those in a second. But let's take a look at that second row of pointless news stories. Number three, it's the same as number one, actually, which is kind of weird. But there's slightly different headlines. So, Ozaki Risa is pregnant. Headline number one was, like, Ozaki Risa, the TV announcer from Nippon Terebi, uh, announced that she's pregnant on live TV. Pre number two doesn't even mention the headline, but or, like, her name, but it has, like, the picture of her. And it says, Live announcement of first preg pregnancy going on maternity leave in October. Uh, so I'm not really sure uh, why I'm getting two of the exact same story. 
Uh, apparently, the algorithm thinks that I really, really, really like pregnancy stories. I guess because yesterday I read the Oshima Yuko story, and they, I don't know why, they assume that that's the only news I want to hear. Maybe everyone has pregnancies going on right now. Uh, I say that because their fourth story is also a pregnancy announcement. So former announcer and current like TV commentator slash talento Takahashi Masa announced that she's also pregnant with her second child. Um, she announced this on Tsukiri, which is a morning news show that airs every single day. She's a Thursday regular uh, for it. Uh, but she announced on live TV as well that she's expecting her second child. Her first child was born during COVID in 2020. And this is her second COVID baby, is what she says. Um, and uh, she announced this because another person on this show, uh, Yamazaki Ryota, uh from Nankai Candy, has announced that his wife, uh, the actress Aoi Yu, gave birth to his first kid, a daughter. Um, so I'm not really sure why she couldn't just let this guy and his wife have their moment in the sun with their kid like i mean i mean i i don't i don't have a kid or anything i am a single 31 year old man um with no marriage prospects at the moment but i i, I have to imagine it kind of suck if you're like you're like oh yeah i have a kid oh my god and everyone's like oh we're so happy for you and like one of the people who's like oh i'm so happy you for you by the way i'm expecting my own kid and she's coming in October. Yeah, I don't know what that would be like, but, um, yeah, I don't. No, in October? Oh, yeah, it is coming in October. Oh, uh, November. Yeah, but I don't know. It would kind of suck. <laughs> so I would not. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being petty, but I wouldn't do that if I were her. But I'm not her, and hopefully everything works out for her. I don't know why. I'm, why am I getting so many pregnancy stories? Uh, man, yeah. if I sound tired, it's because it's like my third time recording this episode. I forgot to record the first time, and the second time just came out. Like, there's something wrong with my mic. You should, maybe you can probably tell. I do have a normal bit of a lisp, but I don't have a lisp as strong as the, the lisp sounds here. Um, so I think there's something wrong with my mic. Um, so I kind of, the first, the second one was a kind of like unlistenable. So I'm kind of re-recording it. Plus I also like, I don't know why I just couldn't sleep last night. It was weird. Uh, there's a cicada outside my window at like three in the morning. And yeah, it was not fun. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> moving on to the actual news stories. Sorry, I'm getting super distracted. The actual news stories that are buried between the nothing pregnancy stories that I keep getting, um, is... So we have three news stories. The first one is that it's Obon travel season and it's at the peak of it. And people are traveling for the first time in three years. So it's chaos. So the freeways, the trains, the subways, the Shinkansen and bullet trains, the airplanes, they're all crowded at like not quite at pre-COVID levels, but they're like the highest that they've been in three years. Um, and uh, they say they... I'm not really sure if there if there's international travel going right now where people so normally people during Obon Yasumi the, the Obon break uh, would use the time to like go travel overseas lots of people go to Hawaii or whatever for like their week off um, but I'm not sure if many people are doing that this year because you still have to get PCR tests to get back into Japan um, so that's a bit of a hassle plus the yen super cheap right now so like it's probably like 1.5 the cost of normal travel would be so that's not great. But yeah, Obon Yasumi, it's, uh, Obon's like the biggest traditional holiday in Japan. It's like the, it's, it's a time for people, for people to, uh, re I guess, revere their ancestors. So what would traditionally happen during Obon is people would go back to their hometowns. Um, and, and so, so you would you know, take care of the grave sites, clean the graves, the traditional ancestral, you know, grave um, and then this is like where you get like the image of like the people putting like, you know, candle bloat boats on the rivers and stuff, um, which doesn't really happen that much anymore. <laughs> um, I'm sure people still do it for the, for, for the most part. Obon is just like a travel day. So people do go back to their hometowns to like hang out with their parents and everything, which is cool. But it's not like a huge like uh, traditional thing at this point. It's a travel day. Uh, so, I don't know. Hopefully, things work out for the best. COVID cases are still really, really high. So, I hope people don't spread COVID more. Uh, 
yeah, so it's not great. Uh, especially not great if you're from Hokkaido, because there. And this is article number two of the headlines. Shindo five. There's a there's a Shindo five earthquake that rattled Hokkaido with a bunch of other like Shindo threes and twos and fours. Um, yeah, there's lots. There's like a swarm of earthquakes in Hokkaido last night. So I mean, it's Hokkaido gets earthquakes, but not normally as many. It's not as many as like further south in Japan. I, I feel like maybe this is just completely scientifically wrong, and I just don't know. Um, so, but Hokkaido has been getting hit by some earth by lots of earthquakes in recent days. So hopefully everything works out there. Um, and I guess this also compounds with headline number three. Headline number three: uh, Hokkaido and Tohoku are still getting pounded by rain. Just horrible amounts of rain and there's also a typhoon coming and hitting Kanto and probably going further north uh, in the next couple of days as well so yeah just continued terrible weather um, it's not as hot today in Tokyo as it was yesterday I know you guys are all anticipating Stefan's weather updates but it's uh, it's it's still bad uh, so hopefully everyone who's traveling stays safe the next couple of days and uh, the rain doesn't get it, it, the rain calms down a little bit so it, because there's lots of flooding and stuff going on right now it's not good at all it's just a bad situation um so hopefully hopefully uh the weather calms down enough that people can enjoy their obon breaks without having to evacuate due to flooding so that about does it for today i know it wasn't exactly a great day for news uh, but they all can't be bangers, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the three consecutive pregnancy stories and Yuji buying a sports car. Like, is it Bentley a sports car? I don't think... I, like, I feel like Bentley is like the chauffeured, right? So I don't really know who would drive a Bentley by themselves. Maybe I just... I just I'm not rich enough to know about Bentley. I just have to ask someone about that. Probably have to ask... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, <laughs> how, how can this guy afford a Bentley? This guy's not that famous i don't know anyways uh thank you guys so much for listening uh if you haven't done it already subscribe and like and all that good stuff you can find us on twitter at small underscore in underscore japan find me stefan tetsu on twitter at stefan underscore tetsu a patreon is patreon.com slash small in japan i'm still working on fixing that um yeah i had to kind of adjust things so we'll see what happens there uh, thank you guys so much for listening. I'll probably be back tomorrow. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm tired. Until next time, thank you guys so much for listening. Peace out. <laughs>